and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Soraka Kindred. This one was pretty tough to build and what I decided to do was go with Kindred and Targon with Invoke and stuff like that, basically making a Kindred control kind of ignoring Soraka. Sometimes we do that a little bit with these random champion decks, but it's just difficult to, um, you know, build Soraka decks right now, especially in the face of like dragons and things like that. And, um, you know, Kindred and Soraka don't really do too much together. So, you know, Soraka is just going to kind of be in here and it'll be healing stuff and, you know, kind of doing its thing, but we're not going to be playing uh, the alternate win conditions that Soraka really likes with the Star Spring landmark and things like that so um you know that's kind of how it is we got star shaping for a little bit of healing as well but really going through these regions and real uh, we realized that there's lots and lots of nexus healing in these regions we're gonna be playing doom beast file feast unspeakable horror uh solari sunforger star shaping so lots of ways to heal our nexus so because of that i think we can get a couple copies of despair we even had more of course to begin with like withering mist and things like that but they ended up uh, getting cut as we moved it down to 40 cards. Uh, but basically what I want is, you know, like an invoke control deck. Um, but I think so we can, uh, I, I do think we can play Despair, even though you don't normally want to play this in a control deck. This is more of like an aggro card where you don't mind your Nexus getting hit a little bit because you're racing them. Um, but because of the strong amount of lifesteal and Nexus healing here, I think we can afford it. A couple copies of Sunburst. I've been very happy with this card. Um, you know, silencing and dealing six. Two dragons for the top end. We got one Vox, one Eclipse Dragon to give us a little bit more top end. But then, of course, the star shapings will get big Celestials for us. Um, Solar Priestess getting us Celestials. Loping Telescope giving us some Celestials or Epics or, you know, random stuff that it does. But then three copies of Spell Thief. I just really, really like Spell Thief. I think this is an underrated card. This just gives you the ability to do lots of things that normally you wouldn't normal you know, have access to in... Um, Shadow Isles and Targon and can be surprising, right? Like they try to kill your kindred and you need a sharp sight and you, you know, spell thief their sharp sight and get that or a, you know, single combat or whatever. I don't know. It just kind of does a lot. Like everybody plays spells. Everybody plays good spells. Um, yeah, normally it's tough for us to destroy the landmarks. Maybe we get like a scorched earth from them or something. I don't know. Um, you know, it, it can just do stuff. We're going to be playing three copies of that. Anyway, let's get to it. So let's play Soraka Kindred. We'll just go back to normal here, you know, with the, trying out this combination. Um, we'll see how it does over there. See if we can get another 3-2. Today's been 3-2 day. Bilgewater, Shadow Isles, Callista, gotta mean um, a lot of um, Fearsome. So Fearsome's probably going to be the big thing here. So I think we'll send back Unspeakable Horror, because I don't know if really have one health. But Fearsome's kind of a problem, right? Loping Telescope doesn't block Fearsome. Wow. Oh, man. So the Trickster blocks Fearsome. That's like the probably the smart card to take here. But uh, come on, it's Howling Abyss. All right, I mean, it's, come on, it's random champion day. We're having fun. Let's take this Howling Abyss. The the highest percentage to, like, add to our win percentage card to choose there is definitely the three mana 3-3. Three, three. But I'm taking Howling Abyss. <laughs> Especially having these other sixes in hand. We should be taking the three mana 3-3, three, three, but. Okay, Golden Sister and Meteor Shower, both good choices. I... Yeah, they're both good choices. I think I'm going to take this Meteor Shower. It just costs one less. We can use Spell Mana on it. This Monkey Idol is always annoying. Maybe shoot that. Ooh. Meteor Shower, pretty good with, with Kindred. Wait, Despair on Monkey Idol is actually pr pretty great. I didn't exactly think of that. Let's do it. I'll take zero. I should have done that last round. I shouldn't have played the Priestess. I should have just done this last round. Sure. Okay. 
Never won. I'm ready, little lamb. Without the other. Alright, so this is looking like a Callista. But that's like not even that bad for me. No real reason to attack. I mean, I guess the reason to attack is then they block and they don't have two things die for Callista. Yeah, where now they'll have all three die for Callista. But like, it's not even... Like what, they just put a monkey idol into play, I guess? Or, or I mean, a powder monkey into play? It's fine. What are they making ephemeral and reducing the cost of? What are they doing there? Let's keep this Vile Feast available. You, I mean, this is a good spot for Sunburst. I'm going to keep Vile Feast available by playing this thing. I think they reduce the same... Yeah, they keep choosing the same cards. That card costs three less than normal. Ah, it's a Dark Water Scourge. Well, that's fine. Um, I'll just block with the 2-1. That's not fine. Well, that's not cool. That quickly quickly went from fine to not cool. Okay, so this is not the not the best play. Again, like playing like Envious Fox is much better for this round. Oh, we got them to pass. Yes, but you know, I I just want to play Howling Abyss. Yeah. So what are they doing over there? Besides, not much. I don't know. What's the game plan over there? Soraka blocks keeps my options open. Wow, I don't know what's in their hand. What do they have? The fate of mortals and spirits falls to me. Oh, hello there. <laughs> Always oblivious islander. Had a lot of those oblivious islanders. Think I got something. Tough Nexus. Are they harrowing? I guess they could be harrowing. Ages hmm. hmm. I forgot about that card. I was thinking they're getting a 2 1 back again. Forgot about that card. Uh, we do not have any other celestial cards that we are beholding. I guess we could take this great beyond. That's probably just fine to have. What? You gonna steal that? That's not cool. Kindred. Yeah, 
Yeah, Derek. Oh no, my spell, th my spell thief. Oh, the spell thief is gonna be good. All right, Tarek. Tarek allows me to play either Kindred or Sejuani. We'll go Sejuani. All right, do that. Oh no, you support you, who supports... I don't know, you, who supports you. <laughs> I don't even know what we're doing here. Uh, I guess the thing is vulnerable. I could have challenged that somewhere. Sure. <laughs> How long this is so cool? Okay, we have eight cards. We're not ditching a card to Howling Hoof. Lux, yes! Oh no! We are ditching a card. No, but it's Alright, we don't need you anyway, Sunforger. Sad but true. So this silences the Undying and then kills it so it doesn't get revived. Uh, no. The king could protect those Sorry, Soraka. I should play Kindred instead. Alright, you support you, you support you. So Lux can't take damage or die. Get the final sparks. Alright, and that will do. That was pretty awesome with Soraka Kindred. <laughs> Didn't do too much with Sor Soraka or Kindred, but just Loping Telescope can make Howling Abyss. Man, Loping Telescope is insane. I think that's what we learned right there. So Loping Telescope made Howling Abyss that made like seven different awesome level two champions. GG's. All right, so we're playing against Thresh, Aurelian, Soul. So this is going to be another uh, Targon's Peak deck, I think. I guess I'm not exactly sure. I want to keep Sunburst to take out Thresh, but then sending other stuff back. Good. I wanted Solari Priestess because Solari Priestess can find the six mana to obliterate. We can blit obliterate Targon's Peak. Um, the thing is, is I, I've said this so many times before. If you've ever watched me play Targon decks. Targon decks are usually pretty good against other... Like, I usually do very well with Targon against other stuff, but playing Targon against Aurelian Soul is really, really rough. It's really hard to beat Aurelian Soul because Aurelian Soul is just, like, the best top end. So Targon's all about top end and, you know, winning late games, but Aurelian Soul is just kind of the best at that. Alright, so no six mana obliterate. But we did get a Traveler. Our Loping Telescope is still amazing. We're making feel the rush now. These Freljord epics are looking good. I was planning on playing the Traveler, but we're going to go ahead and play this. We can keep three mana, so now we can keep, like, Glimpse Beyond Mana after Kindred. Back, heretic. Mm. Just this. We may want to Glimpse Beyond this Priestess, like I was saying, after Kindred. To Mark. So actually, I should have probably blocked the two-two. No. 
Despair was going to be so nice, too. I was really hoping they would play a Thrash right there. We get to Despair, Mark, all that. Now I think we have to do this. I guess. I guess despair also kills it, but for much cheaper than we'd have four mana left. For the traveler. I don't really want to play Kindred and have it get challenged. Mm. No, we're gonna do this. I like our chances against everything that's not a really in soul. Never won. Without the other. It's just us slamming down our five mana champions back to back. I definitely wanted to despair after that. Get an aggro. Okay, that one not as good. <laughs> that loping telescope not as good. Go ahead, go ahead and heal our nexus back a little bit. They got five cards. It's my last kindred. And no more kindreds. Lily got five cards, I got seven. Um, yes, the deck code. That's definitely the most powerful of the cards, the Cosmic Inspiration. So I don't want to play the Moonglow. Okay, so not playing the Sunforger... Because, I mean, if they have a Rillian Soul, which they do, I mean, it's just basically game over. Like, Rillian Soul is just messed up. I guess they could have just grabbed another moon glow. That's kind of taking a lot of damage, kind of. Something's wrong. By starlight, take heart. Back heretic. <laughs> Alright, can we hit that Spell Thief style? Cosmic Inspiration, let's go. <laughs> I 
All right, that's pretty cool. All right, so that can challenge my 5-5 five five and kill it. All right, that's fine. We were peaceful once. I think this is okay, all okay still. Like, the Vile Feast puts in a 5-5, five five, which is pretty cool. Shining gifts from the sky. This is good for leveling up their thrush. This is a tough choice. These are good. It's either Supernova or Living Legends. Like, the, like Supernova is really good, but so is Living Legends. That's a tough choice. I think we take the Supernova, but I don't know. That, that's that's a tough one. Legends. That's gotta be bad. Oh, you know, if they have the elusive life or elusive with spell shield, we're, we're dead. Because I didn't wait. I sh guess I should have waited on that. They did have the elusive with spell shield. Uh, I should have waited and shouldn't have played this file feast yet. I didn't take that under consideration. Yeah, it's all card. They could have only just gotten the other elusive that, you know, didn't have spell shield. Their way is unclear. It's so hard to have a target on deck beat a Virilian Soul. Okay, let's keep Loping Telescope into Priestess. See what else we find. So we'll take Equinox for Eye of the Dragon. The spirit gives to those Not a bad card to Equinox. Hope it works. Hope they don't have Nopify. Cool. Obviously they can have Recall and stuff like that still. But good to kind of get that stopped for now. We want as many of these Falling Comet type cards to take out Lee Sin that we can. Yeah, I understand Aurelian Soul is supposed to be game ending. It's just frustrating that, like, a lot of other regions do just fine against Aurelian Soul besides playing Targon decks. And so, like, it seems like the only time I play against Aurelian Soul is with Targon decks. You know, like a deck like that. You just, you always get paired against similar regions. I don't know why they do that. You know, like, so we're playing Targon Shadow Isles, so we just play against the random Targon Shadow Isles deck. Last game. Just seems to always happen. Embrace life. Expect death. Breathe in, breathe out. Never. 
good. All right, so one eye, the, one eye of the dragon dead. Another one equinoxed. A pleasure to see you, Master. I could see using despair on that, because we're only taking three. We'll use the more more expensive mana card. And despair is always good to have with Kindred for marking purposes. Challenger. So Soraka can block that 2-4 all day long. Can also challenge it with the warrior. Just don't think we really have to despair it. Could, but I'm just not that worried about it. That's a great draw, Loping Telescope. I think they've only played Pale Cascade so far, protecting Kindred Ghost. I don't think they've played like a Twin Disciplines. And so there we go. There's the Twin Disciplines. So now we can try to find some Twin Disciplines for protection. Gross. Maybe our own Sonic Wave? Alright, now we try to find Twin Disciplines for protection. Come on. I could at least just get like this Will of Ionia. Last round? Oh, I'm still oh, or like last last time so we could have Will of Ionia this. <laughs> okay. card. feel pretty good about winning this. feel pretty good about winning this. That card doesn't matter too much in the face. Oh no! Are you kidding me? I was definitely trying to play the Genevieve and that just got in the way. Well, that's... That's a thing, I suppose. Thing. And that will do. 
Got him. All right. Good job, Sonic Wave. Played a little sloppy, but it ended up doing just fine. Two and one. Sorry. Loping Telescope, Spell Thief. They have been MVPs. Hello, opponent. The thing is, I like like all those cards um, individually, right? Like This is a good Spell Thief matchup. Hush on an Ezreal. Glimpse Beyond is good. It's just, they're all good situationally, but they don't like help kind of spend mana, spend mana early and kind of start the game plan and stuff like that. So send them all back. Thrumming Swarm. Um, it's so hard for us to level champions. I guess we take the Messenger. But man, that that would be an awesome card for this matchup if we have level champions. But still, it's like 8 mana. It's a lot of mana. Kind of assume they're going to be a deny deck as well. Maybe we should be taking the two four threes. Watch and learn. Gotcha. Aloof. I'll we'll always take aloof travelers. Okay, so things aren't going so good. Not right now. You dropped something. I dropped everything. Oh, come on, really? Thermo? Oh, man, that's a good thermogenic beam. That's a good thermogenic beam. That's also very nice. And this is going very nice for them. Yeah, I mean, I guess we're going to have to use Fallen Comet. I mulligan some other cards that would have been better against that Ezreal, such as like Hush and stuff. Really gone well for them. Sunlight guide you, my brethren. Firing. Don't exactly imagine that works, but you know, might as well try. But it seems like Ezreal decks have 37 Mystic Shots at all times. And that's the case here. Ah! 
At least I won't really have room for more draglings. So that's kind of good. Alright, what have they played that we want to get? They played Mystic Shot, Mystic Shot, Mystic Shot, Mystic Shot, Mystic Shot, Mystic Shot. I think that's about all they've played so far. Because they did have a Concussive Palm. So will Vionia? I'm a little surprised they don't have the 5-6 block. Just a little surprised. Fallen Comet, they deny. I'm one short of Spell Thief, they deny, and then, you know, play a deny. So they have Nopify? That's what it's, that's what they're telling us here. All right, so we know that we know that card's an Amplify. We know this thing's about to have elusive. That's the worst card to possibly make. plays into that Nopify that we think that they have. Alright. That's... That was just a huge mess. That was a huge mess. I kind of wish I would have grabbed the six mana card that made the two four threes. I don't know. That was that was just a huge mess. That was a difficult one. Okay, we're gonna keep Kindred. Uh, Vile Feast is usually pretty good in this matchup. And Jaw Hunters is like a card that they could have that would uh, challenge the Kindred that we want to be able to have the Vile Feast for the Jaw Hunters. Loping Telescope. On that, now they're going to have one mana Maokai's. Um, I don't care about the other two cards. Yeah, so Maokai only costs one mana. And that card is just a champion. It's kind of... It does make Maokai seem pretty sad. When you can just play that for one mana. What are we doing with Out of the Way? Anything? I am don't like these Crescent Strikes. Oh, we're probably not doing anything with... I can play Sunburst to kill their one drop. The problem is, I play Kindred, they play. Gosh, we're gonna be just terrible. Alright, we're just playing them. We're gonna be really bad against all, all their cards. You know, they can Vengeance right now, and I can't stop it. That's how it is.
I don't even want to kill this stuff because of Sea Scarab, but we got to get it out of the way. Devours is what I'm worried about. We pass. I would have loved to have that last round. Just mark the sea scare with that. I assume this is going to work, right? Yeah. Cool. Alright, so getting super close to them being deep. We already officially marked something, so yeah, I won't mark that. Okay, let's make some stuff. What we got? We got some nine mana celestial dragons. <laughs> They're both dragons. Cadigrin will buff Grapeon, but uh, I don't think that we're necessarily going to be having too much time to play both of those. Alright, so Silence gets rid of the deep and then kills it, so then we mark... Plateworm Egg. Plateworm egg. Um. Something here that can spell thief away like a vile feast again and you know like vile feast this thing. Oh, that's good for them to get to have something super small. That's a problem. I only got four cards left. You have to imagine they play one of these, right? Okay, they're going with that one. Alright, we're going to try to spell thief it. I can 
pass. They're gonna waste all these. I guess I should do this though before they play more spells. Oh, come on! Uh, we missed. Those are like their only spells they've played all game. That's too bad. Man, that would have been great to be able to steal, you know, be able to steal that. That would have been great. <laughs> yeah, and then they just have Skies Ascend, why not? Sorry, that's a cool animation, I shouldn't have covered that up. That's really, really disappointing. They'd have only, you know, they hadn't played very many spells at all, and all we had to do is have one of those be that treasure. I guess if I would have waited, you know, I was wait. I didn't want it to wait because I didn't want to hit too many good things. I guess we weren't going to get zero mana. Yeah, if if I would have spell thief to weigh the the skies descend, we weren't going to get zero mana for that. So, all right, just a two and three. Some disappointing losses for sure. That's kind of how it always is, though, right? Like that, but some. Some of the games, like, you know you're going to lose, and, like, no big deal. But some of those games, I thought that we were going to win or thought we had a better chance. But, oh, well. Um, that treasure card's awesome. I love that card in Deep, you know, make you know making treasures. And we saw that it can be really good. And, you know, that, that's a fun card. So, I guess no no shame in losing to that one. Loping Telescope was completely insane. Wow, this card was great. It was only bad just that last game. That last game, all we were getting was, were the double stuns, which was not something that we wanted. But besides that, and like every other game, Loping Telescope was incredible. Also, Spell Thief was really good. For the most part, you know, like we we whiffed that very last one, but for the most part, Spell Thief was really good. Just Spell Thief, Loping Telescope um, looked solid. All right, uh, that's going to be it, though, for Soraka Kindred. Kind of a difficult champion combination to make, and again, wasn't a very good Soraka deck, but, you know, that's that's kind of how it goes. Uh, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and as always, leave those comments. Let me know how you like those random champion decks. Any other kind of, like, ranked or meme tier decks y'all would like to see on the channel, let me know. We're going to be doing some uh, don viewer submitted donation decks over the next few days. We're going to have a uh, meme tier tomorrow on Saturday. We'll have Ranked back on Sunday, and then Meme Tier Monday again on Monday. I just have more Meme Tier decks right now to get to uh, that we've had some people donating. So we'll have double Meme Tier Day this weekend and the beginning of next week. All right, but that's going to be it for Soraka Kindred. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.